So here's some data from a trial in WA that has been running for 18 years. After 18 years, very simple trial, either burnt or retained, same carbon value. Retained system has more particulate organic matter or labile carbon, the stuff that microbes can eat, and it has a larger microbial population, 50% larger. Two soils, same carbon value, different biological functioning. The straw retained system has a far higher level of biological cycling, and that actually translates in this trial through to additional nitrogen supply to the crop, and that translates through to a grain protein increase. But why might we think that after 18 years, we've been burning all the straw, we haven't built up any more carbon? Let's think about that. Below ground, our root systems are the same. If we're burning the stubble on the surface, or we're retaining the stubble, our carbon input from our root systems are the same. In a wheat crop, about half of our carbon is below ground in the roots, so we're not changing that. Above ground, when it's burnt, we're putting a match to it, so the carbon, di the carbon goes up as carbon dioxide when we burn. In the stubble retained system, the microbes are still breaking down that organic matter, they're still breaking down that stubble as an energy source and still releasing 75% of that carbon as carbon dioxide. Our burning efficiency is probably no more than 75%. So really what we're doing is we're not changing our total carbon balance whether we're burning or retaining. What we're doing is we're changing whether we allow the biology to cycle that and allow for greater nutrient cycling in the soil or whether we're putting a match to it. But it's very difficult with management practices to sometimes change carbon because the biology is still breaking down that organic matter.